and so I came back to India sometime in uh, early mid August of 2001 I lost my grandmother in January of that year and within nine months I lost my father suddenly two generations just left been away at uh, Stanford for two years. I was pursuing my MBA and my parents had just uh, come for my graduation May of 2001. And uh, whilst I was at Stanford, I had uh, participated in a, uh, a business plan competition. Um, and as it turns out, uh, my colleague and I uh, with our business plan, we had won the competition. And therefore, we were pretty much set on the path of making uh, that idea, which was on a piece of paper, uh, into reality. And so I came back to India sometime in uh, early, mid-August of 2001. And we were looking for office space and hiring people and things like that. And um, within a month and a half of me coming back uh, and I was in Bombay. This happened on the 30th of September and uh, it pretty much changed my life. I lost my grandmother in January of that year hmm. and within nine months I lost my father. Um, and so suddenly two generations just left. Um, so it's, be it's beyond grief and it, uh, at least for me, it made me um, it made me introspect it made me slightly philosophical mm. and it changed a lot of my world views and it changed a lot of the views I had on life you are the man of the family now and you've you've got to be responsible mm. so there's no time for grief and there's no time to wallow in yourself you are now responsible for others and others beyond your immediate family a lot of people that look to my father for leadership, for resolution. And one feels responsible because at the end of the day, for us, the family is not the immediate family. It is the people of the region. It is all of uh, Gwalia Chambal, Malwa, all of that. I then um, got into politics and ran for the first time for parliament in 2002. But you didn't have any political inclination till then? Like, did you I have did, a conversation I, with your dad about about politics my and father was uh, okay so let me rewind I was uh, I was certainly involved in an unofficial capacity with him since uh, the age of 13 I first campaigned for him in 1984 so I was uh, all of 13 years old and I remember that campaign uh, very vividly uh, and I campaigned for him in every election since except the last one uh, which was in uh, 99 I believe because I had just gone to Stanford so I wasn't here so I was very much involved uh, with the region with with uh, some of his projects and things like that but in a in a peripheral manner hmm. uh, not in a direct manner I did not have aspirations of of joining politics at that point of time I was much more focused on setting up a business but then fate at times uh, Smita ji deals you some cards and you you have to accept them and take on the challenge at that point of time. But if you ask me 20 years down the road, uh, would I change uh, anything in, in the way uh, uh, fate has, has, has taken me down a different path? And my answer is unequivocally a no. 